slap, are you? Australian legends. Hey! Sir, can you knock? What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI, or if this doesn't get past copyright, hello Patreon, how's it going? You might be the only ones to see this. I'm gonna have a look at Olympic breakdancing. I don't know the rules, I don't know what, like how it's scored, or I haven't seen any of these highlights or anything, uh, but I heard breakdancing was in the Olympics, was it in last time as well? Like, I don't know, I wasn't paying enough attention to know. But we're going to check it out. This is my first time seeing it. Uh, we've got Japan against uh, the... Oh, hang on. Japan and um, Ami. Don't know who that is. Netherlands and India. So we've got a couple of classic matchups here, I suppose. Amish. Is there an Amish team going against Japan? By the way, if you do want to support my channel a little bit more, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it. Or if you like good reaction content and random stuff like this, Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. You never know what you might see. Well, let's jump into it. I don't know what to get. I don't know what to make of this. We're gonna we're gonna see what's going on. It's break dancing. B girls semi final. Oh, Ami is her name, right? In the middle of the night, in a subway station, and she was driven there. God, the backstory on this. <laughs> I love this. This absolutely deserves to be an Olympic sport. By the way, this is as difficult and as impressive as, um, you know. Uh, Figure skating, uh, synchronized swimming, um, a lot of the gymnastic stuff where they do it to music. There's already a whole bunch of like music themed uh, physical expressions in the Olympics. And breakdancing to me is like the ultimate music expression mixed with athleticism and technique and stuff like that. So I'm going to be uh, very excited to, I think the men's competition will be coming up. So I might check that out too. The new generation, the rising generation, India Sarjo. Yes. <laughs> I'm hyped for this. <laughs> I want to see what these chicks have got. I, I like break, break dancing. I know how to moonwalk. That's about, and I can do a decent little robot. I can do that Michael Jackson one where he spins around the circle doing the moonwalk. This is like the highest possible level, right? Let's go. <laughs> the judges with their like bucket hats and stuff. This is amazing. This is this is the future. Ami versus India. Here we go. So they do like a full like face to face dance off style. Fuck yeah. I can't really hear the music though, but that's okay, I guess. That'll certainly help copyright. Oh, all right. And she capped it off pretty good. I don't know about this India. You gotta you gotta step it up. Ami is destroying you right now. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Man, I like watching girls break dance because they have like such a, a smaller frame and they weigh so much less and it just allows for some real uh, gravity defying stuff. Some dudes can do it like that as well, but I think it's probably easier for women women because they are just more nimble and, and light. I don't know, Ami. I think you started off hotter than you're doing now. All right, she's doing some shit. I'm, I'm digging it. Oh, okay, that was clean at the end there. What do you think, judge at the end with your sunglasses and your baseball cap and your, and your sleeveless shirt? I'm sure he's some kind of breakdancing legend and I'm besmirching him right now, but it's just surreal seeing a, a, an Olympic judge <laughs> sitting there with his <laughs> Oakleys on. <laughs> oh, damn, oh, damn, army, army, army. Takes a lot of stamina. Yes, rock it out. Let's go. <laughs> what? Ami giving us the gestures. Again, a lesson in breaking. Ooh. Ami does that gracefully. And then India comes back and steals the energy <laughs> by coming in with a really dynamic intro. I feel like you need to hear the crowd and the music a little bit more. Jesus. I love that uh, Army is allowed to wear like real chilled out clothes, you know? It's not like some like Olympic leotard or something. They're allowed to kind of like embrace the culture of breakdancing with their, their clothing in this. Wait, they're putting it out to the crowd to choose? Oh no, they're just revealing the scores. <laughs> I was like, wow. Well done, Army. Yeah, she killed it. <laughs> Look at this shit. This is amazing. Oh, here's the things. All right. 
China and Lithuania are the next lineup. Okay. I thought an Aussie chick did it. I kept seeing memes of an Aussie chick doing like some kind of um, uh, thriller pose. Of the two breakers now being. Jesus. All right. You're here to break dance, lady. No, I mean, this is not the octagon. Are you in the right building? Where's your chaperone? Only 17. The Lithuanian 17. sensation. The Lithuanian sensation. All right. 17 years old, man. When I was 17, I was sleeping on a futon. I was not in Paris break dancing for Olympic gold. Hitting some new moves. Oh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> All right, 671 is... <laughs> yes! All right, she's got some real, like, aggression behind her right now. She is not leaving here without a gold medal. So is a part of the thing to, like, kind of nearly get hit by a flying kick or something and, like, the closer you get to it, the more of a badass you are? Because they are right up in each other's grills in this. Still impressive every time I see it. I mean, Nika is killing it, even though she's wearing sweatpants. Six, seven, one. You got some gusto about you. Okay. Well, that okay. please was incredible out of that flip. <laughs> All right, Nika, come on. You got to bust the craziest bum funk MC shit the world has ever seen. Let's go. As I rock a microphone, straight from the top of my dome. Doing my best to give you guys some beats over here. Six seven one's calling out the repeats. Oh uh, yeah, she. Oh yeah, six seven one, you got this. Uh, six seven one, let's 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 end this. Bob Jog at the start. Shout out to Bob from Shits Creek. See, I did this part where you could, like incorporate some really like. Regular dance moves, but just with an abundance of personality. Then you go nuts with the technical, you know, athletic shit. I don't know what the breakdancing scene in Lithuania is like, but I'm not liking what I'm saying. As I sit here trash talking this 17 year old Olympian. Like, I could do any better. I definitely couldn't. But 671 has got your number. Puns. Okay. Alright, that was... Pretty crazy though. 671 came out with fury in her eyes. There's no way she was ever going to lose this. She'd already decided that she'd won it before she even walked in. Two to one. It is Nika. What? She will. I wasn't looking at the scoreboard. I just assumed that it was going to be 671. Really? Wow. All right, Ami, enjoy your um, gold medal. Yeah, honestly, I mean. I'm used to watching competitive stuff on here where it's like, you know, fictionalized. These are real people who have done amazing shit. So, Nika, well fucking done. For real. I'll try not to be too, like, tribalistic and, like, <laughs> too in the spirit of, like, just the competition, you know? She's killing her. See, she was killing her. I don't agree with that. Oh, that is fascinating to know. Yeah, that move was pretty outrageous, though. Look at that. I love this like technology camera work they're using with it. I honestly think pro wrestling could be a Olympic sport. You get two people from each country, they put on a match together and they win a gold medal together. Like you have wrestling experts there, you know, how good are they? Good guy, bad guy, the whole kit and caboodle. All right, let's watch the gold medal. And then I'm going to go try to track down the Australian chick. Because I want to know what this was all about. I feel like Nika doesn't, I mean, I can barely hear the music, but I don't know, I feel like she's a bit rushed and not like feeling the music kind of thing with my fucking ignorant, absolutely don't know what the hell I'm talking about opinion. All right, Army, let's do this. Yay, hey, hey, hey. This is only the first round. Take it easy. Oh my God, that is crazy. Pff, Army is killing it. She's taking it. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Wow! Nika! What are they feeding you in Lithuania? Just straight up rhythm? Yeah, she's definitely riding the music a bit better now. Jesus. You know, I wonder how 
specifically rehearse these routines are like do they know what the music is going to be do they have to kind of just go with their you know bag of tricks yeah yeah she did the vince carter it's over it's over nice signature freeze to finish her rounds come on nika you gotta have to do something crazy at the end imagine going to the olympic qualifiers and saving your real good shit for the grand for the gold medal dance off yes turn it up yeah army knows oh my god Yeah, yeah. What an amazing you earn the still pose. What a crazy, crazy, crazy display. And shout out to Nika as well. She did great. She did great. She's going to have to be a 23-year-old gold medalist, I guess. A 20, hang on, no, 21-year-old. 20, she'll be 21 at the next Olympics. <laughs> hang on, what the hell is this? Break it, break it, explain. Explain it to me. How they start their routine before going down. Why is there a basketball hoop there? I like this more and more. Balance required for breaking. This is breaking. You didn't tell me anything. I want to know the goddamn rules. Right, I'm going to give the Australian chick a watch and then uh, talk about this whole thing in general at the end. Oh, we got USA in the first round? Shit. All right, logistics. You already strike fear in my Aussie heart. Why are you dressed like a cricket player? <laughs> what is this? Okay, she's dressed like a mum at a cricket game. Cheering her son on from the sideline. And a little bit too enthusiastic about the whole thing. Everybody else is wearing like cool casual shit. As looks like she's about to catch a cricket ball and get the person on the other team out. Ray Gun. Alright, Ray Gun, let's go. I'm with you. And I don't know who wins this. I've literally just seen a picture of her doing a um, Tyrannosaurus pose. Doing the creep. Oh, and doing the creep. Oh, is that what she did? Damn. She's already pretty good. <laughs> I like logistics. To a pencil for you. Was it the Leaning Tower of Pisa she just did? Is that in Paris? No, that's in Rome, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, Aussie. Yo, what is this? <laughs> Let's go. M-A-R-V-E-L-L-O-U-S. I said it's M-A-R-V-E-L-L-O-U-S. Let's go. <laughs> that was some Elvis shit right there. From a purely critical standpoint, I think logistics is winning this already. Is Australia the lame country that made our athlete wear a school uniform for their breakdancing competition? That feels like something we would do. <laughs> See, this chick has got the facial expressions as well. I think that's a big part of any kind of like dance performance is the face. And she's got this real kind of like attitude in her eyes. Logistics, I'm talking about. <laughs> not even making eye contact yep whatever off you go i love the the weird like theatrical kind of attitude that you get in this like i don't know again i don't know the rules of it but i like that they've kept that you know that kind of battle mentality i mean this is the olympics and that you could probably that's not bad you could probably argue it's like borderline unsportsmanlike conduct <laughs> So I'm glad that they kept it in. Is Logistics who takes this battle? Yeah, I'm not surprised at that. You did all right, Raygun, but uh, nah, Logistics absolutely killed it. How special do you think it would be for these women being like the first ever Olympic breakdancing people? Like, you would have to have a lifelong, lifelong bond or lifelong hatred. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know in the comments. See what I mean? The facials. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of that move. I didn't, it, that didn't do it for me. That's crazy. That's like gymnast level stuff. Oh, wait, we didn't see the creep. Oh, and do the creep. Oh. The 16 year old, so young. 16. You're going to be 20 at the next Olympics, CC. And it's in LA as well. You're going to have a, an amazing couple of weeks in four years. 
<laughs> keep break dancing. Reagan versus Cece. All right. So you have to like get in the circle to like initiate your go. You know, she got a lot of technical ability, but I'm not feeling the direction that it's being taken. Yeah, Cece's good as well. <laughs> she's killing it. Realizes the importance of improvisation, and she's learned just to let her body take over. All right, so it's not set routines. It's just learn a bunch of stuff and then let you judgment tell you what's next whoa Ooh. jesus what a beautiful go down that was <laughs> and the crowd pop as well yeah that's what it's all about i'm guessing cc definitely won that i don't think i even need to look at it but nika you got nika in a friggin sleeveless jacket track pants and a do-rag and then you've got ray gun dressed like an australian cricket player i'm sorry i keep saying it but it's <laughs> it's all i'm seeing I like how the way Nika ends her thing. It always ends with like a, what? <laughs> you want it? You're up. Go. Yeah, the war, the, the um, sprinkler one is, isn't that a bit played out? People were doing that one since before Nika was born. Yeah. Doing the kangaroo. I appreciate it. But yeah, you're going to have to turn into a kangaroo to win this. Hey, there it is. <laughs> is that all it was? All right, give me a slow motion of that bad boy. I think it's probably hard to try and capture all this with the right angles and stuff as well on camera. Maybe that's something they'll improve, you know, before ne uh, the next Olympics. These are very young competitors. Well, Nika is. <laughs> These are very young competitors. Well, Nika is. <laughs> Cop that, Raygun. Okay, all right. Interesting. First of all, crazy and awesome that breakdancing is in the Olympics and all of the ladies tore it up, especially Ami. She was great. And was it 671, the uh, one from China? She was awesome. I loved it. She was aggressive, though. She was. She would sooner throw down a f and like throw hands than uh, bust out dance moves, but I was here for her energy. She was good. The Aussie chick, oh, I mean, we got this amazing still, uh, and that's great and everything, but I don't know. We needed to fight. I, I, I wonder like what it is, and this is just pure speculation. I obviously know nothing about being a professional breakdancer, but is it a case of where, like, like NBA players, for example, they focus on like, you know, a certain number of specific moves and they just work on those exact moves over and over and over and over and over again. Is it a case where doing this breakdancing thing, there's a bit too much variety and you've got too many options that you're not polishing certain moves as good as you might be able to or something? I don't know. I'm just armchair quarterbacking here but very very happy to see that breakdancing is in the olympics i do think they can do a better job with how they broadcast it find a way to get more music involved in it or something like that give the commentators a chance to cover the moves after the the set uh because not having much music kind of took me out of it a little bit um especially when they're judging them on rhythm and you know being relevant to they even said the lyrics of the song maybe it's a copyright thing that's why they can't broadcast it on here but uh I, i'd love to see them figure out some kind of official way to i've got a whole theory that i've been thinking of throughout this but i'm not going to go into it now but let me know in the comments what you thought about this don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already patreon.com slash fwci if you want full length versions of stuff and early access and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends ta-ta and farewell